Welcome to EMTPrep.com. This is the spinal immobilization of a supine patient skill. Welcome to the supine spinal immobilization practical assessment. Here we will evaluate your ability to properly secure a patient to a long backboard. During the assessment you will have an EMT assistant. Your patient's vitals are stable. When you move the patient to the long backboard, I'd like you to use both mine and the EMT assistant's help. You are in charge of ensuring proper directions that are given to your partners. You may utilize any of the equipment shown before you, and I'd like you to review that now. BSI is my scene safe. The scene is safe. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna direct my partner to come in and place the head in an inline neutral position, and then I'm gonna direct my partner to maintain C-spine stabilization. So once he's doing that, I'm gonna check CMS, I have bilateral pulses. Can you squeeze my fingers for me? Awesome. And can you tell me which fingers I'm touching here? My pinky. Okay. And now I'm going to move down to the feet. Take the shoes off. Assess pedal pulses. And can you push down against my hands? Perfect. Now pull back up against them. Okay. Can you tell me which toes I'm touching? My big toe. All right. Pulses, sensation, and motor function are intact in all extremities. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a C collar on. So I'll size my patient for a C collar, select my C collar and set it to the appropriate size. Preform my collar a little bit. And then apply the C collar, ensuring that I'm not moving the neck around too much. Can you open your mouth a little bit for me? Perfect. All right, now we have the C collar on. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna log roll the patient and place her on the board. So I'll have my other assistant come in and help me with that. So on the heads count, we're gonna roll the patient towards us and then I will check her back and then I will position the board. And then on the heads count again, we will roll her flat. Okay, one, two, three. So I'm going to assess the back really quickly, checking for any deformity, any wounds. Position the board. All right. And on the heads count. One, two, three. Okay, so now we're going to position her properly on the board. So we're going to move up and over in one swift motion. All right, on the heads count. One, two, three. Perfect. Now we will secure the patient to the board using our straps. Put this underneath your arms here. We're going to tighten this up real quick. So if you can pick your hands up for just a minute and you can cross them again. Got one secured. So the torso is secured. Again, I would check to make sure I could see if I needed to pad anywhere. I don't need to pad anywhere. So next I will secure the head.
All right, patient's head secure. And then move down the body to secure the feet, the legs and the feet. All right, so the patient's secured to the board. Now I'll reassess CMS. Good pulses. Can you squeeze my fingers? Okay, can you tell me which fingers I'm touching? My thumb. Okay, moving down to the feet. Good pedal pulses. Can you tell me which toe I'm touching? My big toe. Okay, can you push down against my hands? All right, pull back up against them. Okay. Pulses, sensation, and motor function are present in all extremities. All righty. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, nope, that's it. Okay, thank you.